it's better to learn from other people's experience of other people's mistakes. Otherwise, we should face some situation. Fellow speakers, coach, a very good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Once I have been to Alankar Plaza to get some jeans and t-shirt. That was the first time that I had been to there. I was very, as I entered, I was very afraid because some of my friends insisted me not to go there and not to buy anything. I had curiosity why they are said them. There will be something. So I went there, went there and they decided not to look at any shopkeepers. So then let us walk whichever feel good, let us enter. As I walked fastly, some person came and he caught my hand. I was scared, who is this person? Why is catching my hand? And he he convinced me to buy jeans in his shop. Okay, on that day, luckily, I was with my friends. We went in and he showed some 30 messed up jeans. And I said, no, I don't want to buy this stuff. For, I don't want to buy this type of jeans, he said. I said. And I said, okay, I will be going out. As I stepped out, he called me, hey, excuse me. I said, what? I turned back and said, what? You have wasted my half an hour time and not buying any jeans from here. I said, I don't want to buy this type of local jeans. I will go. I will go. No, you have. And he said, and he called. And he said, why did you enter into my shop? Did I ask you to catch my hand? Take me here. It's your mistake. And he said, No, you have to buy some jeans from here. I said, No, I will not buy. Why I should buy from you? He called some other shopkeepers. Hey, selling my movie And you know, 15 people some other surrounded us. I had hope because one of my friends was a bodybuilder. He had a good muscle. By seeing them, you are absconded. I got really confused what to do now. And they asked him, hey, what happened? This guy, this people took 45 minutes to sell their jeans and now they are not buying anything. They said, no, you have to buy at least two jeans from here. I said, why I should buy jeans from here, this local jeans? I will go outside and buy some other jeans. And they warned me, if you do that, we will not let you out, out of this complex. I got really scared and I was and I realized at that time what was happened to my other friends. So that's why they, they insisted, me, insisted me not to come here. Okay, now I real, relaxed and I said to my friends, okay, I will buy two jeans, and let us go safely from here. Okay, I took selected two jeans from the out of the mess of jeans without any choice. And I asked him, what's the value? He said, each jeans cost 565. I said, sir, 565, you gotta decrease the cost. I can't afford this. And he said, this is the fixed price. There is no bargain. Look at the board. I said, okay, I will buy that. At the same time, one of my friends who absconded, he came with his father. His father was a head constable at the Booker Police Station. And I and I explained him all the situation. Suddenly the shopkeeper said, Sir, if you don't like you can go to the other shop. <laughs> there is no compulsory to buy here. And the cop said, Are you doing Robisam on customers? I will put you in jail and I will put some case on you. Are you came here to do business? Or Rodism, huh? He said. And other people were came, oh, he is talking, what happened? So I pointed some of the people who warned me. I said, sir, these are the people who warned me. He called me, hey, you guys, come here. They came, they were trembling and sweating. They were arguing that they have not warned me. And I got spontaneous respect from them. Sir, that if you don't buy, if you don't like these things, you can go and buy anywhere else. Who warned you? They have questioned me. And I was surprised. Wow, just now they have warned me. And they ordered me to buy two jeans. Now they are changing the dialogue because of this policeman. Okay, and this shopkeeper said, 
Sir, I have some good jeans. So you can select that. Okay, I said all right. He bought some good jeans. I wonder these people also have keep that good jeans. And I asked him, why did you show the jeans? If you have showed me the jeans, I would not wear the thing like this. Okay, I selected two jeans from that the jeans. And I asked him, is this also fixed price? He said, no sir, we will, I will show the bill. So you pay 25 rupees more than that, it's enough. And the pop said, now I will decide the price. You go and get the bill. The pop said, pay rupees 150 to eat jeans, which they have got for 400. I was happily, safely came back from there and I decided not to go there back again and not to buy anything from there. So it's your you have to decide whether you what you want to uh, that means what you want to learn from other people mistake if you are in same situation or like that. Thank you. Uh, over to coach.